Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von Lebestag hier. Bevor wir jump into this awesome conversation that I've had with John Duquesne, CEO of Dragon Door and RKC, I want you to check out this. To celebrate 40,000 subscribers on YouTube, we're hosting the 40k giveaway. Join our 40k giveaway to get a chance to win our 40k bundle worth 493 US dollars. The bundle consists out of three of our best-selling courses, 90 Days of Kettlebells, 90 Gains of Kettlebells, and the Hybrid Style Masterclass Lite. The winner will be chosen on Monday, 29th of August, 2022. You'll find the link for the giveaway as well as the full conversation with John Duquesne in the description. So my interest will be what happened with RKC and then Strong First. Why, why did Pablo sure. decide to say, hey, listen, I'm going to do this on my own now? Sure. So I think one of the big shifts that happened. There were two big shifts. One was that um, I signed an author called Paul Wade um, and we came out with a book called Convict Conditioning, which was um, became a monumental classic yeah. for yeah. Um, how to train progressively in calisthenics. And, you know, it had six main exercises like the squat and you could go from just a regular squat to all the way to one legged you know to the pistol there was one arm push up starting out just pushing up against the wall and so on and it's a brilliant book um just an absolute landmark and pavel was very enthusiastic about it he didn't like the title but you know he loved the contents as did most of our people and it became a huge success mm -hmm. um yeah. huge mm -hmm. and it's you know i think Pavel really wanted to be the guy with Dragon Door and he wanted his brand to be represented the way he wanted to be, you know, which was mm -hmm. you know, a particular kind of tough guy approach. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that happened was that we started to appeal to women a lot. Uh, my my wife, Andrew Duquesne, you know, came out with some, some very good products for women. A lot of the other female instructors also Uh, and about you know 50 60% of the classes were women not so much in the certifications but you know very strong yeah. representation wow. there and i was mm -hmm. very much in favor of marketing to women um as well as men as well as the military and pavel really wanted to focus much 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 more on just the um the military and strong men and you know that was his stick so over time we started to disagree about how to market ourselves and mm -hmm. how he wanted to be represented differently from the way we were kind of going overall. He wanted it to be that much more attention on him. So it became kind of more and more a bone of contention. Nothing was going wrong with our programs. You know, everything was solid, but he just felt he wasn't, again, I don't want to speak for him too much, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. but he became dissatisfied with, the way we were representing him. So um, it got to a point where he just, you know, he, he made some ultimatums about how he wanted things to be. And I'm very, we're both very strong headed people and we have our own ideas and I wasn't prepared to back down from where I wanted to be and where I thought things should go. And he felt the same way. So again, it didn't, it was, he ended up jumping ship in a rather abrupt manner and we had he took about 80 percent of our instructors with him again it didn't protect ourselves very well when that happened so you mm -hmm. could call it a massacre in some ways that that, that was probably uh, what dan was <laughs> yeah. referring to yes uh, <laughs> no. um so uh you know it was a very very difficult period for all of us and mm -hmm. um very high number of the people who chose to go with Pavel did so not wanting this to happen, but it happened, you know, and they, they chose, it was like choosing their original love, the trainer, Pavel, coach mm -hmm. Pavel, yeah. or going with Dragon Door. And yeah. many of them understandably decided to go with Pavel. And uh, so, you know, strong first is the, the material, that Strong First teaches, at least for, you know, everything to do with kettlebells is remarkably similar to what the RKC still teaches. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, that's where yeah, it, it's... the material came from. Um, if there's a difference, you know, people do ask that, I'm sure you're wondering, like, what is the real difference between 
strong first and RKC on the, the kettlebell level. What we decided to do was to have all, you know, he had this shtick all along, you know, you're yeah. on Soviet, Soviet territory now, yeah. and it was very kind of hard and a lot of emphasis on kind of beat down approach. Yeah. Um, a lot of refined teaching techniques, obviously, but we decided to, to, um, to be more concentrated on coaching, on teaching people who came through our certifications to be really good coaches and to be able to train a, um, a very um, diverse population, people who were very challenged. There was more, mm -hmm. uh, more, we felt breadth and depth to what we offered. But the overall philosophy of the training, no different, you know, and most of the movement taught the same way. So it eventually came down to like the culture that you wanted to be around when you were taking your training, like the, the strong first culture from what I can see is, has maintained a lot of that kind of, we're the tough guys. Um, and that's that like, rough you know, approach. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So we're a little bit gentler, you know, the, the people who represent us these days are people like Dan John. Um, and Dan John speaks for himself. Mm -hmm. Andrew Duquesne yeah. speaks yeah. for himself. Um, mm -hmm. we have, you know, a number of, we have, uh, Chris Holder, uh, Darius Gilbert, you know, there's some people who are, uh, very, very adept and wonderful coaches in their own way, mm. but they don't favor that kind of, they, they went with us because they didn't favor that kind of aggressive beat down approach so much. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like it and consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell button so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. To celebrate 40,000 subscribers on YouTube, we're hosting the 40K giveaway. Join our 40K giveaway to get a chance to win our 40K bundle worth 493 US dollars. The bundle consists out of three of our best-selling courses, 90 Days of Kettlebells, 90 Gains of Kettlebells, and the Hybrid Style Masterclass Lite. The winner will be chosen on Monday, 29th of August 2022.